Beth and Lucille, how are you today? Doing fine. What's going on? So again, what is Mystery New Hampshire? All right, so for, for those who don't know, uh, escape rooms. So you're going in and, and you're going to be able to uh, go into a themed room with two to eight people uh, or so, uh, any variation of those numbers. And uh, you're going to be looking for clues. You're going to be uh, solving puzzles and riddles. You're going to escape the room in 60 minutes. You certainly hope so. We hope so, yes. Otherwise, we'd have to bury the bodies and all yeah. that. And we're really tired of doing that. Now, and it's not just like you're looking for a couple uh, things, you know, written down or something like that. You've got things like it just shows there, you know, the mm -hmm. locks and you have to find the key or the mm -hmm. right key or a combination of things. There was one with a ship's wheel. Uh, a few years ago where you had to spin the wheel. I had no clue with that. My son figured that one out. Um, <laughs> and that the, that the spinning the wheel to points on the compass would then unlock right. something else. Right. Um, right. And uh, then you also had to place things in certain places. So it's not just going, okay, you know, go to the west side of the room, go to the blue wall. Right, um, right. It's, it's interactive. Oh, yeah, yeah. And one of the commercial uh, that just played... Um, and I don't know if, if Chris played this room or not, but uh, it was uh, called Blue Plate Special, I think, on it, and you had to put the pies in a very specific spot for it, something happened. So you've got, you know, different, it's tactile, it's, it's numbers, it's letters, it's, it's visual, it's, you know, interactive. So. But you're given the clues to do that. It's not just like, oh, figure out the pies. There's, you're told, in a way, how to put absolutely, the pie. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I did no not do the room. I did not play, play <laughs> blue plate special, but I am 100% positive if I had, I would have solved the pie riddle. Yes, you would have, probably. Yes. Especially the chocolate cream pie, yeah. If it were yeah. a banana cream pie, probably not. But the chocolate cream pie, uh, that's my specialty. Yeah, no, no banana, yeah, no. <laughs> but I'm sure you would have, Chris. I Absolutely, uh, you would have. <laughs> Full disclosure, I've only played one escape room there, and uh, we were close. We were very, very close, but we did not quite no, get out. But it, we had a ball I try. Think, I think building an escape room with, like, a trap door that if you don't make it, you drop <laughs> Everybody it down, goes the, down. down into the basement or something. Either like that, that or about dead you all rodents. get slimed at the end or something. <laughs> you have a pile of dead rodents. <laughs> That's right. Now, one, one of the things with the escape rooms is that if you start having a little trouble, you have people who can kind of give you some clues. Lucy, I imagine yep. that's where, where you come in. <laughs> My job, yes. So what do I do if I can't figure it out? What do I just go, help? Or Exactly. You just wave <laughs> flail around and go, hey, help me, I'm stuck. <laughs> and then uh, you send a little, uh, a little signal uh, and help people along. Uh, and now, I'm sure you probably have some where people never ask for a clue. Oh yes, yeah, some groups. They don't want any help. Some groups, they want a lot of help. It really varies from person to person. And uh, and so do you find it's different, you know, like sometimes that two people can solve a room better than eight people? And, and vice versa. Yeah. 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 It, does, it, it really, you know, the question I get asked a lot is, what's your easiest room? What's the best for, for two people to do? What's the best, blah, blah, blah. And it really, I can't give them a clear answer. I really can't. Because well, when I'm designing them, I'm putting a little of everything in there. I'm putting something that would account for everybody to be able to participate in some way. So it could be that this a couple works really well together and they just cruise right through it. Or you've got um, a party of eight that cannot get out of each other's way. And, they, and they're not talking and not communicating, yeah. and therefore they're almost butting into each other and, and preventing um, any kind of progress from happening. So it's like, oh, which ones would be best for me? I, I don't, I don't yeah. know your family. I don't know who you're coming with. I don't know if you've had your coffee today. I don't know if, you know, if you know, you've got a headache. I don't know that, so I can't really give you a clear answer as to how you will do in the room because of so many different variables. And what's the fastest someone's done a room? It's a tough one to say because I have, um, thankfully, I, I know a lot of other escape room owners and we visit each other's um, rooms. And my escape room owner friends, they're the ones that come in and just crush. Well, they don't count. They, I know, but then I have my kids come in and they crush it. And then I... <laughs> So and then you have me come and in, then and then you come in, there going, send and me more clues. Yeah, and I'm going, um, Nancy, can you pick him up again, yeah. please? Come on. <laughs> now, um, I, I think we, as long as somebody's out within the, um, now let me rephrase that. I have no problem having people get out within ten minutes left 
Ideally, you want it closer to five or three minutes right. left because that's really comes, you know, brings in the, the drama. Um, there are groups who have indeed finished it with le with more time yeah. than that, um, and that is um, wow. It, it's few and far between, um, but you know, so we like to have it like you know, you're doing this hour room within. 50 to 55 right. minutes. Yeah, you're not going to make them so difficult that people can't solve it. Right, 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 exactly. We don't, I mean, that's, you want the challenge, but you don't want to, oh my goodness, that is unsolvable. That right. is like I had to work for NASA or something to figure that out. You got to take this and, key, go over to Home Depot, have a copy made, pretty, you know. And <laughs> yeah, we don't want that mode, yeah. And, and you know, I will comment that everything that goes on in the room is, um, it's in the room. There's no expected outside knowledge right. like hey who won the red you know the uh, world series in 1986 i don't need everybody to know that it wasn't the red sox thanks <laughs> for bringing it up wow but... 86 you have to bring on <laughs> he's got <going. laughs> new york mets in seven games not but i don't need everybody to know that if, if i did i'd expect i'd put it in the room right. somewhere so that's kind of... Um, and that would be actually one of the fun things. If you ask that question, mm -hmm. then maybe up in a corner there's a, a Mets hat or something or like something. that. Or yeah. something, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, that's where the fun is. And right. um, and so you're... When are you open? When are you open? This week, we're open all week. So it's vacation week. Um, so we've been open all week. Um, and so in the summer, we're open seven days a week. During vacation weeks, I have expended, extended, extended hours. Um, next week, where we have all of New Hampshire on yeah. vacation, except for except for Kennet. Yeah. Um, we're open every day but Wednesday, and I need to take Wednesday out. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we're, we're open. Um, but in the winter, it's Friday through Monday. And then once super summer kicks in again, we're seven days a week. Now, you recommend, of course, to make a reservation. And Absolutely. you can do that online. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, MysteryNH.com And uh, you can go there, you pay for it, and you book your time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you may be in the room by yourself. You may be in the room with a group of people. Absolutely. Um, and there's always an advantage. You know, you might be like, well, I don't want to go with other people. But as you m just mentioned before, you're going to have people who have different insights. You know, mm -hmm. if I go with my sons, you know, we all think alike. So we might not get out of a room, but if you <laughs> threw somebody else in there, if Lucille came in there with us, she might be like, oh, well, what about the Mets hat in the corner? Oh, I didn't even see that, you right, know? Right, right. Uh, and so really can give you a great opportunity and to meet some new people and, and really have some fun. Yeah, there's often, often, I mean, I can count on one hand on times where a mixed group just doesn't quite <laughs> mix. Um, but uh, otherwise, you know, they uh, within five minutes you can't tell who was in what yeah. group, and you're like, wow. And some people are like, hey, that was awesome. You want to go get a cup of coffee? You know, afterwards, and and so they come out. It was a really good. So know, no mix. fisticuffs. I have not had anybody come to fisticuffs. Yet. Oh, that's good. No, that's good to yet. good then to do please it. Please don't <laughs> knock on some wood somewhere because I don't want it. So but we have a new room. You do well. We do. We have a new room. We just opened. So Lucille, do you want to tell us about the new room? This new room's pretty crazy. So, my great uncle Tim, he's always wanted to invent a time machine. Well, he finally did it, but he keeps leaving it unattended. So I've been kind of taking a jump here and there. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if other people take a jump here and there and visit some crucial periods in history. And that's what makes the room really special. Instead of one theme, you have multiple themes. Very cool. So it's kind of a Rick and Morty, isn't it? <laughs> Licensing issues. Okay. Prevent me from saying. <laughs> okay. All right. It's kind of that a Back does, to the Future. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. Much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I we we definitely take inspiration from. Lots from, of well, yeah. Things. I mean, yeah, hey, once you you know once you get into time travel, you know you got to do that. Yeah. So. Yeah. The name of the room is called Temporal Temptation. And a um, working name was kind of a, a pickle in time. Uh, <laughs> but we opted against that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that room just opened up this week. We're really Great. excited to, to get that one up. And, and have running. people gotten out? Yeah, yeah, it's actually um, a pretty nice, nicely flowing room uh, that is allowing. It's, if you ask my son, he's like, yeah, this is one of the easier ones we've done. I'm like, but he, he But he's done like 900 of them. Exactly, yeah, like, and yeah. he knows how we think, and he's part of the process. So, you know, going in to go through the room, he's like, yeah, the answer is that. The answer is yeah. 
you already know the puzzle. You can't. <laughs> right. So, um, but yeah, we had a lot of fun with this because, like, like Lucille said, it's it's um, multiple themes within that same room. We were able to explore a couple different, uh, you know, time periods. So that was well, very a cool. Fun thing to do. Well, so. we're glad you guys came by today. Appreciate it. <laughs> so check out Mystery New Hampshire, located at the Mountain Valley Mall next to the movie theater. Great thing to do with your. You know, maybe you're going to go to a movie or you just got out of a movie. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, but, but plan for about an hour and a half. Right. Um, between um, the time of playing and uh, getting, you know, kind of um, briefed and debriefed and there's photos and, and pee breaks and whatever you need. Um, it's ages eight and up. Um, and my, my biggest rooms accommodate up to eight players. I have one room that only accommodates up to six players. Yeah. Um, so definitely kind of keep that in mind when you're planning your outing. Um, it's not appropriate really for the younger players, so maybe one of your adults can go find something else <laughs> yeah. to do with the little ones while the bigger ones come and, and play with us. But um, but also, just kind of heads up, we're, we're looking for um, or help wanted simply because we want to ramp up for our summer season. Awesome. And get that, um, so you know. If you're awesome well, you could college. build a room that somebody gets stuck in and they're like, hey, you're now an employee. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry that those chains won't go any further yeah. than the front door. But That's how Lucille <laughs> came along. Yeah. Shh, yeah. She's jingling a little bit. Right. <laughs> well, thank you for coming by. You're and welcome. definitely check out uh, Mystery New Hampshire. And we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.